Where are those tanks? I want that ship. Send in more troops if you have to. Take it away! I am the father. In the world of filmmaking, some actors prefer to remain hidden from the credits, such as Kathleen Turner or Gary Oldman. But one of the most famous examples is James Earl Jones, the voice behind Darth Vader in the original Star Wars trilogy. I find your lack of faith disturbing. He decided not to attach his name to the project until the final film of the trilogy, Return of the Jedi. But why? Come here, boy, when I talk to you. By the late 70s, Jones had already carved his niche in Broadway and earned an Oscar nomination for his role as boxer in the 1970s The Great White Hope. Despite his fame, he chose to remain anonymous in his voice acting debut, voicing Darth Vader. Oh yeah. His decision was driven by respect for the man behind Vader's mask, David Prowse. My name is Dave Prowse. The British actor who physically portrayed the character and performed all of Darth Vader's lines underneath the iconic costume, despite expressing concerns that his voice would be too muffled. Asteroids do not concern me, Admiral. Is her hope is that data being used against us, which is the pillar of her resistance to our mind probe. Find the passengers in this vessel. I want them alive! Prowse was assured by director George Lucas that his lines would be re-recorded in post-production. But the reality is that David Prowse was never going to be called to provide the voice of Darth Vader. Because Prowse's West Country English accent didn't match the menacing tone George Lucas envisioned. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take her away. After extensive searching by listening to countless tapes of different voices, including Orson Welles, no one could compete with James Earl Jones' profound baritone voice. As you wish. James Earl Jones recorded all of Darth Vader's lines in just two and a half hours in March 1977, earning $7,000. They paid me $7,000? And I, and I thought that was good money. For the episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back, he spent a whole day recording the voice. He considered his role as nothing more than special effects, stating that Prowse is Vader. But this was not enough. According to one of Lucas' drafts, Darth Vader speaks in an oddly filtered voice through his complex breathing mask. This is why sound designer Ben Bird added the iconic breathing sound using a scuba tank regulator that he himself breathed into before editing to the rhythm of Jones' speech. Here's normal. Anyway, it's, it's a nice combination, I think. David Prowse found out that his voice has been dubbed by Jones' voice when the movie was released. As a result, Darth Vader's voice has become one of the most recognizable in Hollywood after the success of episodes 4 and 5. By the time episode 6 Return of the Jedi was released, everyone knew that James Earl Jones was the voice of Darth Vader, so it didn't make sense to hide his name anymore, and he allowed it his name to be credited alongside Prowse. That name no longer has any meaning for me. Well, that's all! Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, watch more videos, and see you next time! May the Force be with you! Take care!